Hey guys, Gaz here. Um, this is going to be part 1 of the Minecraft 1.8 update. Um, just giving you all details. Some old, some new. Just because I've been kind of sickish for the past little while. So uh, I just want to catch up on the news. Give you what's um, old news in Minecraft that you might know. But some people might not know. Um, but everything all around 1.8. So uh, we're going to start off by... Um, Paray or block, um, they're going to be bringing in Paray or block, so you'll be able to block um, shots from zombies or whatever is mobs are going to be uh, attacking you really. Um, also, five new items, food items, are going to be implemented into the game, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can eat cows, um, you can actually see a picture here of a chicken it looks like a chicken and um, so yeah you can eat chickens now so that's nice and um, you can cook 64 at a time uh, Jeb from the team Ojang he has confirmed that you can cook 64 at a time in a furnace and um, so you don't have to cook one at a time just like um, pork so uh, moving on um, Notches eating is going to be putting in an eating animation so maybe if any of you has played uh, any game that has a eating animation for instance San Andreas GTA San Andreas when he eats a burger he actually moves his hand up to his face and eats it that way so uh, yeah that's pretty cool and um, C418 the people that make all the sound effects and music for Minecraft and um, they're going to be working on a sound effect for that as well and um, also melons and pumpkins will be able to you'll be able to farm them now uh, they'll come from a central stem system so you will plant a seed and you may get um, five pumpkins from that one seed um, and it'll come from a central stem system so you could pick off one and one will grow again and um, still not a lot of information about that but uh, definitely uh, very very cool and again going to be um, helping out the farming um, as he wants to do he wants to make farming more interesting and uh, more kind of explorable really so um, melons and pumpkins you will now be able to farm um, there will be animal farms so maybe um, sheep gen more sheep when there's sheep there um, they'll breed and there'll be more sheep maybe baby sheeps <laughs> um, and the ability to help or harm a village so some of you may know and um, that there are going to be villages in Minecraft uh, here's a picture of one in early stages and um, yeah it's going to be a pretty much a little village where the NPCs and um, non-playable characters for those of you who don't know and um, and they'll pretty much have their little community they'll be dotted around uh, the world and uh, yeah you'll be able to either help um, the community and maybe do quests or um, kind of trade or I don't know do missions or I don't know <laughs> um, NPC villages as desired yeah so you'll be able to help them um, or harm them so if you kill one they'll all turn on you and that will be a village that will be against you and um, I don't know if you can redeem yourself or so on but it'll be pretty cool if you could help one village and then harm another and then there's like a village war and that'd be pretty cool and um, also likelihood of bosses mob bosses um, in uh, randomly generated dungeons for those of you who don't know what dungeons look like and um, this is a picture of a dungeon it's a cavern and um, that goes all the way down you can see and um, there's uh, looks like vines or of some sort or some people say they look like dried sugar cane so um, it'll be interesting to find out um, but yeah this is the new caverns um, and dungeons they're going to be putting in so he said that in every cavern or every dungeon there's going to be a reason to go down there just like Oblivion if any of you have played that um, you go down a dungeon and you find things and maybe sometimes it's good things or maybe it's useless but you always find things so um, it'll be pretty cool that how he's going to generate uh, what's going to be in what dungeon really um, another uh, 
objects he's going to be putting in um, is going to be bows, but you'll be able to charge the bows. So just like um, in some games you can hold a grenade and the longer you hold it, um, the further it gets thrown. Um, not cooking a grenade, but holding it and the, the longer you hold it, the further it's going to throw. So now you'll be able to do that with uh, bows. I think that's an oblivion as well. Um, the longer you hold it, um, the further it goes or the more powerful it hits. Um, so yeah, hold to charge bow mechanics or um, yeah, remains to be seen says him uh, says Notch. But I think I think he's still he's he was talking about it on Twitter a lot. So uh, I think he will be ended up putting in. Um, some of you might have seen this picture. It's a uh, kind of a beta. Well, it's all really beta, but um, an alpha of what uh, 1.8 is going to be. Um, and he's as you know he's gonna be trying to make the map taller so you can go up to peaks like this mountain here you could climb up on top of that mountain um, and peer around maybe to see your home if you've lost your house or so on but uh, a lot of people seen this and were distracted by the height but if you actually look at this clip um, right here it actually shows you that um, you have like it looks like a hunger bear um, on the right hand top some people are saying it's a hunger bear. I think it's a hunger bear, um, but it could be something else. We don't know. Um, and then under that, it looks what I thought at first was um, a stamina bear because some of you might know that he's put he's making running shoes for Minecraft. So you can actually craft running shoes, and you will be able to sprint um, until your stamina goes down. So I thought that was a stamina bear at, at first, but then he went on to say that it's a leveling bear. So now you'll be able to level up in Minecraft. The unfortunate thing is, if you die, that goes back down to one. So yeah, <laughs> maybe um, the more you mine, the more you cut down trees, the more you. I don't know explore and so on that uh, you level up more and more and more and it makes you it makes it easier so if you have a diamond uh, pickaxe and you're on level one it will be harder to maybe um, I don't know pick up or pick rocks or so on and um, but if you're level say maxed out and um, maybe it'll be like one click and it'll be you really get it straight away that if you get me um, but yeah it'll be definitely interesting to find out what that is going to be like um, I hope I'm not running out of time uh, 7 minutes okay that's pretty good okay so what else um, some of you <laughs> I keep saying some of you but that is really this is kind of old news so yeah some of you may know um, that the elder man or what they're trying to put in is uh, the Farlanders, I think it's the Farlanders. Um, they are trying to rename it, but I think Elder Man sounds better. Um, this is a new mob of two mobs that have been confirmed. Um, this is one, and it's called the Elder Man, as I've just said. Um, as you can see, it uh, travels in a group of other Elder Men. Um, they are long. Um, I think I've seen Notch say that they are three meters long. So I think one block equals a meter. Uh, I think I think that. So they're they're three blocks high, um, and uh, they steal blocks or they rearrange blocks. Um, I don't think they steal them. They just rearrange blocks. So they'll go up to your house and they'll take out wood blocks and they replace it with sand or um, I don't know uh, dirt or so on. But yeah, they look pretty scary, all right. Um, this is another picture of a close up. It's actually, um, as you can see, he has a pumpkin head on. Um, some people are thinking, I think Notch has said he doesn't know if he's going to put it in yet, but if you have a pumpkin um, hat on or um, a helmet, that uh, they will not be able to see you type of thing, or they won't be able to see you looking at them, because if you look at them straight, they stop what they're doing, and they turn towards you, and once you look away from the Elder Man, he's going to start rushing towards you and um, also if the elder man is too far away uh, if he's on a mountain somewhere and you look at him he'll actually teleport uh, within I don't know 30 blocks of you and um, he'll actually teleport disappear and reappear in your sight and um, very very close to you 
um, which is kind of scary a bit. But uh, yeah, as you can see in this picture, to the right hand side, you can see that one elder man kind of has smoke of, of some sort coming out of him. He also has a dirt block in his hand. I'm not too sure about his arms, they're a bit long and they look a bit weird. But uh, you can see, yeah, three blocks long. Yeah, just just under three blocks long. Um, and uh, yeah, white eyes, black texture. This image is actually being brought up in contrast. Um, I don't know why, but this is what was posted um, on the Minecraft form. And the uh, contrast, as you can see, has been brought up. So maybe it's harder to see them when it's normal contrast um, and so on. But um, yeah, as I said, if you look at the elder man, um, he'll stop what he's doing, rearranging blocks or so on. He'll turn towards you and he'll rush and I think it's like a one hit kill um, towards you. Also, if you get killed, um, you know the way you drop blocks when you get killed, um, I think Notch has been saying that uh, you your blocks will literally disappear once you die that's it you cannot go back and pick up your blocks which is kind of annoying in some way but kind of makes it more interesting um, in some sense so uh, yeah I think, think that's it really and uh, <laughs> on the part one anyway once there more information comes out um, I would de I'll definitely be going into it and um, this is my second video back um, I've been sick for a little while so that's why videos haven't been appearing um, here's actually a few things that Notch has tweeted himself um, from PC Gamer customizable players and um, persistent leveling random generated levels slow zombies and um, yeah I went there okay so um, obviously PC Gamer asked uh, all about those things and he <laughs> he said yes uh, he went there he done it um what else i ran i am i made rain and snow render significantly faster by applying catching okay so yeah you may know that um if you're in a world or you're online and um, playing in a multiplayer server if it starts raining you lag <laughs> and you lag a lot unless you have a beast of a computer um but yeah, he's he's made a render faster, so hopefully less lagging. Um, also, every and any videos you've seen on the Elder Man so far are all fake. That's what Notch has said. There may be videos coming out in the future by Notch or Team Mojang YouTube channel, but everything so far to this date is fake. So um, if you're sending it to your friends or you think it's real, it's fake. So uh, thanks guys for watching, please like the video if it was any way helpful towards you, it really helped me. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see part 2. Um, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.